Hey guys, it's Jess, and um, just having a really quiet day around here today because my roommate woke me up a little before 3 o'clock this morning asking me what appendicitis feels like. So then I ended up taking him to the ER. Um, he doesn't have appendicitis, so no surgery, but he does have a kidney stone. So, he's in a lot of pain. He's been sleeping most of the day because they gave him morphine in the ER and then um, sent him home with a prescription for Vicodin. And as soon as the pharmacy opened, like, I was waiting for the pharmacy to open um, to drop his prescription off. So, because I wanted, you know, to, I wanted him to be able to have it as soon as the morphine wore off or he started waking up or, you know, whenever he started being in pain again. So even after we got home, I stayed up to uh, make it to the pharmacy when they opened. And I tried to lay down a little bit ago, but I couldn't really get to sleep. And then I was hungry. So I just um, had some lunch. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to um, try to go lay down again, hopefully get a little snooze, but, um, also when we got home, I threw together a crock pot dinner, because ain't nobody gonna feel like cooking tonight, um, if I can't get a nap, I'm gonna be utterly exhausted, and, uh, um, he needs to, my roommate just needs to take it easy and drink a lot and hopefully try and pass his kidneys down. And my other roommate is at work today, so he's going to be tired when he gets home and not feel like cooking either. So, thank you, thanks to whoever invented crockpots, like, you saved my bacon today. I don't have to eat fast food, I can eat real dinner. And it's going to be tasty and require almost no effort. Um, as far as me, my shoulder is feeling better than it was the day that I sneezed and hurt myself. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um, so it was feeling a little better the next day, so I haven't actually gone to the doctor yet. I already had an appointment scheduled with my... Um, general practitioner for um, this coming Monday and so I figured you know as far as my shoulder goes I'll just take it easy I'll keep icing it taking anti-inflammatories and um, you know just kind of baby it a little bit and I've been doing some of the light physical therapy exercises that I learned um, when I first started going to PT after my surgery so, nothing strenuous, but also, like, I don't want it to, like, stiffen up or anything like that. So, um, I'll just keep carrying on like that if, um, assuming it doesn't get worse before Monday, I'll just, um, talk to him, to my doctor about it then. And, uh, we'll see what he says. So, um, yeah, I'm still in some pain, but it's tolerable um, I just can't, um, like, I can't lay on that side, which kind of sucks because I'm a side sleeper and I tend to, like, go from side to side at night, so, yeah, um, and, you know, I've just, um, certain types of movements I've discovered, you know, may get hurt, so, um, I'm really just hoping it's just irritated and just kind of inflamed and that it will resolve itself in time. Um, but like I said, we'll see, um, what the next few days brings and what my doctor says, but right now I need to go try and catch a nap. I'm so tired, but you know, I'm just glad that, you know, I mean, kidney stone, kidney stones totally suck. It's supposed to be like the equivalent or worse than giving birth. And, um, you know, he's taken me to the ER a bunch of times and, you know, so it's like, it's, you know, absolutely not a problem for me 
to, you know, get up in the middle of the night and take, you know, take him to, to the emergency room to get taken care of. Doesn't bother me at all. Um, I was happy to help. Um, so just, yeah, I'm just going to try to catch a nap. If, if I can't get to sleep here pretty soon, um, I'll just stay up and probably go to bed early because I don't want to, like, go to sleep and then end up waking up at, like, you know, getting up at, like, 6 or 7 o'clock and then, like, not be able to fall asleep again, like, at my more normal time. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to kind of catch, like, a power nap maybe for, like, an hour tops. Um, so that I can still get to sleep at my regular time, but also not be just, like, totally bleh. I had stuff I was going to do today, but that's okay. Nothing that can't wait until tomorrow, so. Just, uh, send some prayers or good thoughts or mojo or vibes or whatever your thing is that he um, passes this stone quickly and doesn't have to suffer with it for too long because he was suffering. I have never seen him like that. It was like, it was scary. Honestly, it was scary to see him in that much pain. Um, so I'm just glad it wasn't something more serious, but it sucks that it's something that is so extremely painful for him so I just I feel bad and um but I'm glad I can be here to help him out and um he doesn't have to you know deal with it by his, himself if if he needs anything I'm here and and you know don't mind running to the store for him if he's having a craving for something or you know whatever I just I just want him to take it easy and um just needs to drink a lot a lot a lot a lot and get that thing moving but, um, anyway, uh, I'll have more videos coming, hopefully at least one more this week. Um, I, one of the things I was going to do today was actually film something else, but, um, I thought I would give you guys a quick update on my shoulder and, um, you know, ask for the good vibes for my roommate and my friend and, um, yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.